Hi, Leos, and welcome to your August 2024 read. All right, let's get started. This read is for Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Okay, I'm using the Past Life Oracle deck to see where the karmic thread. Wow, the arts. How wonderful, right? Music, sound healing, um, sound bowl, bowls, right? Learning an instrument, playing an instrument, loving music as we all know that music soothes the soul, right? Concerts, concerts in the park, Lollapalooza, right? Okay, let's keep going. That's just a thread. So it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful um, indication of, you know, do we or don't we know that when we're having a day right? One of those days from, right, that we can't handle. Throw on some music. Start dancing. Don't listen to depressing mu music. Like, we know that, right? When we're having that day where we think we can't handle. Okay. All right, Leo, what's happening? I love it. Queen of Coins. You could have Virgo Taurus Capricorn in your chart or you're dealing with one. A new direction. Beautiful. A new life. A transformation. Innocence. Finding that, finding that, um, finding that rainbow of Meaning, uh, when we see a rainbow, do you know what that means? When we see a rainbow, Spirit's saying, try to find the happiness within you that makes for a better day, right? Change it up. Don't drive the same way, you know, to work or whatever. Change it up. Okay, the tower. So, for some of you, for sure, for some of you, something is like in my eye. <clears throat> for some of you, a payout, a new job, a new direction, begins out of the blue out of the blue you get paid you get this big payout that you've been waiting for you know whatever it is right you've earned it without question i mean it's fun it's not funny but it's i mean it's nothing's coincident it's not coincidence that this guy's sitting right here looking at me when I just went to pull more cards for the narrative. Do you know what I mean? I mean, this guy's like, yeah, I'm here. I'm loyal to my job. I'm loyal to, to the traditional values that, <clears throat> excuse me, that I, that I believe in, you know? I believe work hard, play hard, right? Okay, some reason he's there and so is, okay, it, you could be a father figure, could be a grandfather, but let's put it this way. You've learned a lot through your travails of work, work ethics. I'm hearing work ethics as well. Work hard, like I said, play hard, right? The devil's reverse. So it's not, you know, it's almost as if you've, Leos, I feel like you've re released yourself from just so much crap. Some of you just bought a dog, a Goldie, 
a white Goldie or you have a white dog that's loyal as, or a cat. Because all animals are representations of us. Now, we do have, like, okay, I'm hearing the dynamic duo, right? King and queen. King and queen of pentacles. So, I also feel if you're, you know, if you're in love with someone or you're, if you're married or if you're living together, there's a clear common thread of, you know, we believe, we believe in the same things. We have great compassion and love for humanity. We believe in eating healthy and working out. We have the same value systems is what I'm saying. So you're definitely with someone who has the exact value systems that you do. Whether you're with them or not, it doesn't matter. I mean, it looks like a power couple. Look at this. Oh my God, look at this. Are you kidding me? The fool is with the fool. Right? Leo, the mother. So I'm going to put her here because she depicts, we'll keep the fools together there, right? So are we looking at a situation where, I, I can't wait for the tower, I can't wait to see what the tower comes out as, but seriously, this is really like a dynamic duo. We both believe in the same values. We both give each other that love and understanding and compassion and let's go outside and let's talk about the stars at night and or the astrological planets. This also, <clears throat> excuse me, interesting, right? This could be the mother of your children or you are just, you know, you're a beautiful, um, I don't know why my hair is this, these bangs are bugging me. Okay, this is a beautiful depiction of a mother who is able and does sometimes change her hair color. I got it. It was, okay, so some of you like your hair is bugging you, you're, you cut your bangs and you're like, oh shit. All right. On another note, this is a <clears throat> Virgo Taurus Capricorn, right? And he's learned a lot of lessons throughout his day, his time. So you could really be connected and or connecting with someone whom you've has withstood the test of time with you. You know, it's like that person where you're totally together with this person. You don't have to be married to them, no. <clears throat> but we do have a, a go-to, don't we? Right? A go-to. So let's look at the tower real quick. And yes, I am going to shuffle. The tower. <clears throat> for Leo's, like what happened out of the blue, like did someone come back that you were like, I never thought someone would come back because you probably have, well, without question, you have a karmic thread with someone. You can see the labyrinth right there, right? This kind, I don't know. I'm hearing Father Christmas. And he looks just like this guy. Look. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at this. Okay. It has to be. 
Father Christmas. Some of you, I'm going I am going to say it. For some of you, Christmas is going to be very prevalent as you both or you definitely like you pack your bags and you're going somewhere for Christmas. I don't even know if you know you are, right? Who cares? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Wow. Oh my God. Look at this. This is codependency. Okay, here's the thing. Out of the blue, okay, because I was here. I'm here. Hold on. I'm over here at the tower. Out of the blue, someone comes back, right? Maybe Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you're dealing with. You have, or they do, an epiphany of the magnitude of respect that you have for this person and they you, both. I feel that there's nothing to worry about <clears throat> If someone were to come back, Leo, you know, it's kind of like out of the blue, someone comes back. He, they call you he and or she, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you're like, oh shit, right? Now, it could be love or it could be someone you haven't talked to in a minute. Coming back to rectify the pain that they, the pain and sorrow that you dealt with or have dealt with. Okay, it's not death. Let me be very clear. It's not. This is, this is a, you know, I haven't had to express myself for a while. I haven't really told you how I feel about something that hurt my feelings, whether it was a fight, whether it was a discussion that, you know, we had to end up agreeing to disagree. I never really kind of felt like we closed out that situation. So the wheel is here, right? Okay, we've got the three of pentacles. So I feel like this could also be someone that you work with. Okay, someone comes back into the fold, or you want them to work with you again. But you're really uncertain, because you had some words with them. But the wheels here. So I feel like some of you Leos may give someone another chance just to see if this is not, you know, are we, I'm going to say it, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they are, they have this really depth of feelings of love and it's not like you can just, what's, what am I trying to say? Like, you can't just, they want me to say it. And I, I'm like, are you sure? They're saying yes. You can't spit out a Cancer Pisces Scorpio from your life. You can't. Even if we agree to disagree, even if there's been a fight, even if there's been something that has been has been gnawing at 
the Leo. This person doesn't give up. I'm going to have, yeah, I mean, they're really, like, it's not a death. This is like, you know what? I left. I left the business. I left the party. I left, you know, <laughs> I'm hearing, oh my God, why, why? Where does it come from? I left my heart in San Francisco. Okay, so it, it is a love situation or something has happened, right? Okay. For some of you, someone who, who you were married to because the divorce card is here, they didn't want it, you did, you guys got divorced, they're coming back to say, you know, Leo, do you realize how happy? Look at this. Hold on. I got to show you. Because I don't want you to think I'm... Okay. Look. I was really happy with this person. Leo, you could have been really happy with someone. You get divorced. And, you know, time goes by. And do we remember... Or that you separate, right? They move out of your house, whatever. But you do remember this person. This is like... It's like the one. But shit got in the way. Toxic behavior got in the way. And or a job loss. Money, you know, wasn't coming in. For this person and you know maybe okay this is a traditional like i said here in the beginning this is a traditional relationship and by traditional i mean value system where the man feels very much it's his job to you know, make the money, you, you know, go to work, make the money, and the woman stays home and cooks and cleans and takes care of the kids. Very traditional, old-fashioned, per se, right? That was, that's what this was. And you were very happy with it. It's not like it really was a problem. However, the divorce happened because someone had toxicity, right? The devil's right here. So for some of you, you've been getting over a relationship. You've been like, you know, you accepted it. You've allowed it. They walked away. You're on a new route. Both of you actually, you know, the fool comes out twice. I don't know. You know, one person, one, one man's fool is another man's foe. Don't you know? Someone, I feel it was, um, someone was working too much, never home. Let's look at the devil because the devil was reversed. And then I said, I'm just going to shuffle. And then this is attachment. This is codependence. This could be numerous things. So why did this relationship end? Well, it did end for sure. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> let's put that there. Actually, let's do it here because it is clarifying the devil is the Ten of Swords. So the end, it's been over for a while. We fought too much. We didn't see eye to eye. And there was no balance. Spirit had to intervene because someone who traditionally believed that they are, let's just say, for lack of a better word, obligated to 
take care of the household was not 100% with it or they lost their job or money was sparse, whatever. We fought. Yeah, look at it. It was money. We fought about money. We fought about money. Like who makes more? It's just like the petty, a petty, uh, it's just petty. Look at this guy, look. And I really, I feel like, you know, Leo's, I feel like you were like, listen, even if you or they lost a job or are not making the money they used to, you know, there's other avenues which are right here of collaborating, right? So let's just say, metaphorically speaking, someone says, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. Don't, you know, why ruin something really good? I have an idea. I can get onto a board. There's something about someone getting onto a board, right? Yeah, someone gets called to be on a board. Now that's metaphorically speaking, or it's an opportunity to collab with a couple other people and they get word about it, right? You and or them. I said Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right here. Someone's dealing with a lot of, I mean, aren't we all, right? A lot of crap. But it's how you deal with the crap. Even if someone comes back into the fold, right? And they made you happy. And you felt like they were really, truly the one. But because of job loss, money not coming in as much, the masculine of the relationship traditionally, sorry, I'm like messing, traditionally said, you know, I can't, I don't feel right. Not like some traditional relationships, if the woman's making more than the man, that causes havoc. And maybe you don't, as a Leo woman, let's just say, sometimes women just in general, because this is your read, we don't really understand that. Because in today's society, why does it matter? But if you're dealing with someone who is older or is very traditional, well, yeah, that makes a difference to them, maybe not to you. So someone felt stuck and it was, it, it is, it's always the mindset, the mind. There's a reason why we say mindset. It is a mind that is set on the value systems and belief systems that they grew up with, which is here very traditional. So they're stuck in a mindset of, well, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be making more than you. Like, what's the deal? <clears throat> I feel so obligated to go out and find something so that we can be together again. Someone could have very well looked high and low. Someone could have looked high and low for a job that would make someone feel as though they weren't being judged because they weren't making as much as the other party. Sun, moon, and there you go. And or, I'm just going to say it, if this does apply to you, someone did get a job as, you know, as, like to subsidize, subsidize the income, right? They got a sidekick, they're on a board, 
they're doing stuff that, you know, they're, they're dabbling. That's what they wanted me to say. And they come back to say, listen, the masculine and or the feminine, which I feel it's the masculine that says, hey, you know, I'm hearing now you see me, now you don't. So this is what happened with the two fools. Now you see me, now you don't. You did not see someone in the right light because maybe suddenly they lost a job. Maybe suddenly they lost money or something happened where it was like, I don't know if, you know, if I can, I don't know, they retired, they lost their job, they're spending too much money. Money was a huge issue here. I don't know if we may have to move, right? The worst kind of situation for men that are old fashioned and traditional, it's an upbringing, is the woman making more. And he's like ashamed. Look at his head. He's ashamed. And look at, he's trying to get back on his feet, but there's also that, you know, they're hiring the younger generation. They're hiring Gen Z, the millennials. What happens to that? What happens to, you know, the traditional elders? And no one, this person, Leo, that you're dealing with or was you were dealing with, it's not like you don't have love and compassion. You do. But honestly, this was part of the issue. They didn't want to show you this part of who they are or were because they, they're ashamed. So, you know, there was, there was a cutting of ties. And they didn't want to tell you. They did not want to expose this pain. They didn't. They didn't want to tell you, I'm ashamed because you make more money than I do. I'm ashamed because I lost my job. I'm ashamed because maybe I spent too much money or I invested in the in, you know, in Bitcoin or what have you. And, it, you know, whatever they did, you said, all right, you, maybe, you did it, maybe you did it for the kids. This is your card. Maybe it was all about the kids and family. Can we or do we really want to knock someone because of this. When we've, we've always been happy knowing this person is, is really a good person. They've been through it. When, if, if you have a masculine in your, in your, um, or you, your ex, right? Whatever. Like, I'm going to say it, but all hell broke loose with the devil in the tower. All hell has broken loose or did break loose. And some of, some of you are aware, Leos, or not, that someone was really praying. You're, you may even be find it surprising that someone does pray. Praying to really extract themselves from the way that they deal with themselves in their mind. 
and or with others. It's like, you know, I'm gonna say it, mind fuckery. It is. If there was anything here that had to do with the loss of a job, a person, a, a company, right? Loss of money, whatever. Fights ensued and the end, right? So that's what happened to this couple who really, look at, has dealt with a lot of pain, struggle, pain, struggle, sorrow, Letting go, remembering the memory, the memory of someone letting go and really trying to move on. Shit happens with loss in general. Whatever that is, however this pans out in your life, Leos. All hell broke loose at one point. It already happened. It's not, this is residual. It's kind of like when we, when in LA, right? We have earthquakes. And then we have, right? The aftershocks. And this is the aftershock. Or the aftermath, aftershocks of what what happened and two people trying to you know move on from it right they want me to take three cards so we are because it's rough it has been rough let's say okay synergy exactly right? It's blending energies. It's a blend of energy. It's going out in Mother Earth and it's realizing the energy and the power that is within us. Some of you love, um, okay, I'm hearing lightning bugs. Maybe you don't, um, California doesn't have lightning bugs, but definitely, you know, the Midwest does with the humidity, etc. Some of you are very focused on being outside in Mother Earth, looking at the plants and the flowers, and almost to the point, if not at that point of when you're out, your, your energy is, you know that your energy is part of Mother Earth. It is a synergy, right? You know that the leaves and the trees are speaking to you, the mountains. Nurturing, we said that with Mother Earth right here. You could be the mother for sure, right? Loving what God has given us, which is the beauty of the flowers, the plants, the, the the trees, the core of the trees, the transformation of seasons, the ability to connect with Mother Nature right now, Leos, for you guys is huge. So connect with Mother Earth. You have Green Man, which is, and, and Gaia. This is masculine and feminine. You know you are. You know, Leos. Who I'm talking to right now, very aware of your connection with Mother Earth. You almost find it meditative to be out in Mother Earth, which it is. It's your sanctuary, without question. It is your sanctuary. You get downloads 
in Mother Earth. Mother Earth is speaking to you with the wind, with all the elements of air, fire, water. Air, fire, water, and um, who did we forget? Pentacles, right? The connection of the value with which we assert ourselves. This could could have not necessarily this been a, you know, like a loss of a job, but someone lost their, someone has lost their, in Greek we call it kephi which is their passion. So get back your passion, and by doing so, being out in Mother Earth will give you that healing modality because Mother Earth is healing, okay? And this will, this too shall pass. Listen to music. For some reason, I'm saying, I'm hearing music will help you to remember the good times. Let me just get one card. I know I'm going over. Yeah. As you're working, listen to music. Meditation is music. Maybe your work is music or in some, some form of sound healing. I love you guys. Have a great month. Comment below and let me know. Take care.